Here's another fly, another saltwater fly I really like. It's funny is I can remember, everybody can remember their first fish they caught I and they're on the fly. And this has became one of my favorite flies because I caught my first striper on it. I could tell you the day. It was 1991. It was October 21st. It was at Sunken Meadow on that false bar, outgoing tide, 1030 in the morning, bright sunlight. Should not have caught any fish. I had two within 15 minutes, and it was all on the fly called the Whistler. Now, the Whistler is a, is a, a West Coast fly, and this is actually the way that I tied it back then. I remember seeing it in an article in uh, one of the Fly Time magazines, and then when I first, this is when I first started doing some saltwater fishing. And you know what? I have put a lot of bass in my boat. I've also put a lot of fluke on the shore. Uh, this fly does it all. I don't know what it looks supposed to be like. I guess a little bait fish. And it has bead chain eyes. And that's what gives it the whistling name. When you cast this thing, it just, um, the, it just whistles. It whistles in the air. I like to fish this on an intermediate line, but you could use any line. So let's get to the vise and tie us up one. Well, this is a really simple uh, fly. Uh, where I'm tying it on, the whistler is tied on a short shanked hook. And uh, I, as you notice, I take down my barbs right before I tie the fly. I always take down barbs on my saltwater flies, mainly because it's easy to get out of the fish, but mostly it's because I get out of me. So uh, I always take them down. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna build a little thread right here, little dam. This is a simple fly that catches fish. It actually comes from the West Coast. Uh, this was a fish uh, by Dan Blayton, I believe his name is. He came up with it. Um, and he ties it now a little bit different. And I actually tie my, a lot of mine on jig hooks. But this is the original uh, style. was tied on a short shank. Now I'm going to take bead chain. Nice it's not going to add a lot of weight to it, but the, this gives it the name, the whistler. As you cast these, you will hear it whistle. <laughs> and uh, I've taken many, many uh, speeches. I, of course, I, I caught my first striper up with this, but it, I, I use it a lot. I catch a tremendous amount of, of uh, uh, fluke on it. Okay, but I do want to wait this a little bit. And I'm going to use some, uh, this is lead free wire. Just catch it a little bit. Like that. Push it right up there, nice and tight. Just gonna cover this just to really lash it in there pretty good. All right. Gonna take a little white bucktail. I'm just going to pull the long, all the short ones out. And then I'm going to stack these by hand stacking them like that.
and I measure it. And I roughly want it about an inch and a half. So I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to tie it in. Make a couple wraps and kind of force it around. I'm going to take a little bit of red, and I mean very little, red bucktail. Well, I'm going to take a few strands, and I'm just going to put just going to put a little bit right down the side. On each side here. And do the same on the other side. In a bunch. Just like that. I'm going to take a little more piece of white and put it right on top. Just a little bit. It's always better to build it up. Slowly. There you go. That looks good. I'm going to take a piece of red yarn just tie it in like this and advance my thread forward And tie it off. Just like that. Now, I'm going to be looking for, I'm taking a saddle hackle, but I want a really, really webby one. And here's a good one. It's close to slapping. Clean all this off, all this little fuzzy stuff. And I'm going to tie this in right, right about here. And bring my thread right in behind the eyes. And now I'm going to palmer this. And each time I work forward, I brush it back. Right till I get right to the eyes. And then I tie it off. And 
and then I do my whip finish. And there you have it, the Whistler. It doesn't look like much. I don't know why, but it catches fish. And when you cast it, you're going to hear it. It whistles. <laughs> so get tie up a bunch. Get out there. It was my favorite fly in the spring and in the fall. Um, I can't tell you. I've caught bluefish. I've caught fluke. I've caught uh, stripers. It, it catch, I, I would believe it would catch even weak fish. And you could tie this in all different colors. But this is the first one I used. So until next week, tight lines.